Greetings and salutations. Welcome to another episode of 365 Days of Gaming. I appreciate you taking our time to check out this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Greatly appreciate it, so thank you in advance. Now today's episode, we'll be looking at one particular game, but this is more about the series as a whole, at least the ones that I've enjoyed in this series. We're talking about the Gauntlet series, right? An arcade classic. And we're gonna be looking at the Dark Legacy game but this again, this is about celebrating Gauntlet as a whole. Now, you know me, I'm a big fan of co-op gaming, big fan of arcade games. So the Gauntlet series has always been one of my, if, if it's available, let's play it. You know, if I go to an arcade, they got a Gauntlet cabinet of any form or fashion, I'm into it. Just because it's, it's simple, it's fun, it's hack and slash, you don't need to do much. All you need is people who are willing to jump in pump some quarters into a machine or if you're fortunate enough like we were have one of the console versions especially when you get into like the legend series and dark legacy which i really enjoy because you know you can just multi-tap it up or if you get like the gamecube or xbox version have up to four people which is always the most fun right now me personally i always have to pick one of the yellow characters and pretty sure it's obvious why i pick yellow as the color but uh, I like Dark Legacy because they had not only the wizard, but they had the sorceress. So I got to play with the lady. But this game, I mean, it's it's simple, straightforward. I really enjoyed when it got to the Legacy, the Legends version, because they like really made it to where it was fun on console. Like I remember playing it on like the NES, uh, playing one of the ports of it, and it's still feeling like it expected me to have quarters. Because in the arcades, you know, you, you basically the food would run down as you were moving around or getting hit and you know you had to constantly you know refill yourself and the way to do that was quarter so obviously you could try to find the food and stuff in the game but it's much easier to just pump it full of quarters now once they hit the uh legend series they started having the console ports and they really took time to make sure that you didn't need to worry about putting a bunch of quarters in so you know, you can play the game and you can run through it. And like I said, it's always much more enjoyable with a friend. But even playing by yourself is not really that bad of a time, especially if you're just looking for, like, again, mindless hack and slash, right? Then the thing with the, the Gauntlet Legends and Dark Legacy games is they started having these these boss characters. Like, I'm pretty sure if you played like Gauntlet Legends, you've seen the big giant red dragon in the first area, right? One of the things I also always enjoy with the Gauntlet games, especially with the uh, Legends and Legacy games, was all the power-ups and stuff that you get. You know, you get like the familiar, you get the different versions of magic, and I'm a big magic user, so, you know, I'm always the one looking like, you don't need that, Steven. You're using the Barbarian. He's using, you know, hand-to-hand -hand combat with swords and stuff, but I need those potions. You can't get any use out of them. You don't even know what to do with them. They also added like this like super meter so the longer that you you know walk around and fight and everything every so often you can basically use a special move kind of clears out waves or you can use it on some of the stronger enemies because you know first you start off fighting a bunch of grunts but as you progress you start to deal with a lot more enemies that require a lot more attacks multiple attacks they can get up and do damages knock you down the game can get really difficult as you progress like i said that's why you want to you want to have a team if you can right you want to make sure that you can get through these areas and again hack and slash games are always more fun with multiple people now, the only thing is that the loot does not increase with more people so you got to make sure that you know you you're sharing the wealth right you're passing it around you don't you're not jumping at every piece of food that shows up like some people that we know and uh you know only making sure that that you're good and not the team is good so you got you got to sell out for the team in order to beat the game but again that's what these games are for they're like the best rental type games you know you could just one weekend you and a couple buddies back in the day squad up get your controllers get your game probably some hot pockets and pizza and then you know play through some gauntlet man just have some fun not really having to think too much not a lot of different commands to deal with right just just jumping in and button mashing and just having a good time and hopefully knocking down some stages and some bosses and if you're lucky enough you might even beat the game so that's why I wanted to shout out this uh, this series as a whole. And then, you know, especially, like I said, the Legends and Dark Legacy games in particular. Now, I'm not going to talk about the ones that came after these games because um, they were a little disappointing. So there's no need to uh, bring down the good times by talking about the bad ones. So we, we're going to keep it moving. But if you uh, first and foremost, if you played Gauntlet, you know, who did you play? What color? What class? And then, you know. If you, if you played the yellow 
then you good you good with me all the other colors are just you know they just copycats of that but no like to uh hear your thoughts on the game and the series and if you have some arcade memories or even some some weekend memories all of us appreciate it and as always have fun be safe peace <laughs>